today from the Caesars Superdome in New Orleans. This is Matt Football on EA Sports. Winston and the New Orleans Saints taking on Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. From a city that has hosted 10 Super Bowls, here's a look inside the Caesar Superdome in New Orleans. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Cincinnati Bengals and the New Orleans Saints. And a welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent that and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. McPherson has this one teed up, and we are underway from the Superdome. And able to get this out to the 25. Now here come the Saints about to begin their first possession, and the man in charge of this offense, his eighth season now in the NFL, former number one pick, Jameis Winston. It was terrible to see Jameis Winston suffer his torn ACL last season because he had the Saints rolling in his first year running the show in New Orleans. They went 5-2 in his starts, and they were just 4-6 and six after he was injured. And how about this? He only threw three interceptions, really addressing the big concern people had from his time as a starter in Tampa. New Orleans, they plan to roll with him for a second season and hope that last year's performance will carry over in a full season. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Now it's a bootleg with Winston. And his throw is incomplete. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. They just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Jameis to throw it. He'll find his tight end. It's Adam Troutman. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Jameis now on first down. To the right side, and he's got Landry complete. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and that'll bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Throwing again on second down. Winston. And he'll go right back to Landry. It's complete again. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. 
And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. Oh, look at the juke. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and ten. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. The Saints first down there on a gain of 11. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On play action, Winston. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. On second down, Kamara. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, Winston. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Oh, there's going to be a little bit of regret there because they certainly had the chance to get off the field here just giving up a field goal attempt. But they couldn't get that stop on third down. Now they have to hunker down because guess what? That drive continues. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, Winston. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's brought down. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're gonna be set up with an early first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Try to pound it in, Kamara. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, nada there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. Kamara trying again, and he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Saints get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown.
strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Will Lutz on for the point after. good as the Saints have a 7 to nothing lead. So that drive spans 13 plays. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. Touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Now the Bengals getting set for their first possession of the ball game and leading them out in his third season. Really the face of Cincinnati football, Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow could have won comeback player of the year last season simply for his statistics. 4,600 yards, 34 touchdowns through the air. But he brought the entire Bengal organization on a comeback after five straight losing seasons. First with a division title, then an unexpected AFC title, and led the team to their third Super Bowl ever. And he had them less than two minutes away from winning it for the first time. Keep an eye on Joey B. He expects to bring a Super Bowl title to Cincinnati in the near future. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw caught by Higgins. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. A first carry here for Joe Mixon. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. run got three now here's second and seven Burrow will throw and the catch made it's Tyler Boyd and this is going to be another first down as the tackles made at the Saints 41 yard line a nice pick up there of 11 yards and it'll move the sticks and that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage so timing is everything this time he waits for his man to come open Puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Now Burrow on first down. Out of his hands quickly to Higgins. And they'll work this down inside the 30. First down there for T. Higgins. Don't let it be lost in Jamar Chase's phenomenal season. The Higgins had a big year for Cincinnati as well. Topped the 1,000-yard plateau for the first time, and he did it despite missing a few games with injuries. The third-year man could give Cincy a pair of Pro Bowlers at the position here in 2022. Mixon with a first down carry. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Get 
Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Again, it's Mixon. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Burrow on third down. Slam pass to Boyd. And the Bengals are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. First and goal, and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Here's Burrow. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Paulson Adebo. And the Saints are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Charles, one thing that he referenced to us yesterday was his confidence fitting the ball into any window, but obviously that window was a little too tight and it was closing in a hurry. And he was talking to us about having anticipation in making those types of throws. Down near the goal line, I don't think you can anticipate it as much as you need to see it open. You've got to be precise with your throws down here in the red zone. That one goes into double coverage and he gets picked off. Coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. 48 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurdling through them. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. Winston. They'll get this out to Camara. Call it a gain of six on the play. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. From the 27, Winston. And he's got the hook up to Landry. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Working out of the gun, Winston. That's to his running back, it's Alvin Kamara. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The Saints first down there on a gain of 11. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll throw again. Winston. 
Dancing to his left. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. down Winston drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield and they're going to get this down near the 35 yard line the Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime Only needing two yards on second down. Now Winston. There's Chris Olave. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 25-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. First down throw for Winston. Open man is the tight end Troutman. And he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. To the air again with Winston. Gonna throw right side here, complete. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. The Saints passing game in sync and moving the football. It's a first down. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well, like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Jameis again. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10 to throw Winston and that is going to be incomplete as he let him a bit too much I'm going to need some help with this one how did he miss it wide open in the end zone he's not hurried he's not hit and somehow incomplete yeah, what happened during film study that's one where he's just going to shake his head not be able to believe it six points go by the wayside on that one the kick by Lutz is good and that will extend their lead even further. Defense, 
So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. set to get the football first and they trail here as we get started in the second half and this will not be returned so the second half begins with a touchback and the Bengal offense ready to go here to start the third quarter Charles it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room haven't really been able to get anything going offensively virtually nothing in the ground attack either so certainly something has to change here in quarter three and I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys the stop troops they've been playing pretty well and they've kept them around in this game now they got some time the running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Now Burrow. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. They'll get 14 on that one, good for a bangle first down. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 43. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. 
Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. They go back to the ground now with Mixon. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Second down and seven. Burrow looking to pass. He'll drop this one down to mix it. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Got that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Open man, it's complete to Higgins. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 15-yard line. 23 yards on the play. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Inside handoff to Mixon. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. to Mixon on second down. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Now it's Burrow. Got a man, it's Chase, he completes it. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. An effective seven yard third down conversion. Well, they've had a great impressive drive going here and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. They'll give it to Mixon, and he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Good work there, holding him out on first down, and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Second and goal from the one. Another try for Mixon. And the avenue collapsed for him as he's going to be held up short of the goal line. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. Man, not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Right, 
So can this New Orleans defense stand tall again? Third and goal. Now it's Burrow. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And the Saints are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here and maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. Interception, Winston. Quick slant, that's caught by the 5'11", Landry. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second down, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. Winston now. Flushed out right. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Winston to give, it's Kamara. And only a couple there up to about the 23-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On third down, here's Kamara. And this will wind up as Saints first down as he gets this up past the 30 to the 32. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Throwing. Winston. And he'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Play action now, Winston. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Here's Winston. And that is incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board.
Here comes the Saints punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Taylor now to return it. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Bengals take over first and 10. Cincinnati's offense coming back here onto the field. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Not at all, because we're talking about the NFL, and teams can score fast in this league. Quick strikes, you're right back in it. You're exactly right, keeping hope alive. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their own 21. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Quick slant caught by Chase. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Jamar Chase, 79 yards. And the Bengals have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So that's a really big play here in the fourth quarter. And don't look now. They're right back in this game. Did it feel to you as it did to me that maybe they were a little bit soft in what they were lining up with on defense? Almost like they were protecting the lead rather than trying to make a play. And now that lead is down to just one score. Extra point by McPherson up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Taken in at the three. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The New Orleans offense set to take over. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game here in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts at early opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. A pass there over the middle to start things out. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give them a short yardage situation here for second down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. A tenth carry for Kamara. 65 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount. He got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Trying to run down some clock with Kamara. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. The 
The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now a first carry for their fullback. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. the middle with Kamara and he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they take a knee. Kamara up the middle. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss there. Now third and 14. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. How about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Couple of plays sent them the wrong way and now they face a third and 14. Winston goes ahead, takes the knee, and that should be all she wrote. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. Close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Saints are winners here as we say so long from New Orleans.